Welcome to today's Gibbscam Tech Tip. In this video, I will be going over the steps needed for downloading and installing Gibbscam, as well as registration for your USB key license type. This is a USB setup guide. If you are an NLO server user, then this video does not pertain to you, and you should search for the NLO setup guide. This first section of the video will be covering a fresh install on a computer that does not currently have Gibbscam installed on it. The first step would be to download the latest version of Gibbs, and at the time of this video, the most current version is v24.0.6, but I'm going to install 0.59, and then later in the video, show how we can update to the latest version. So in order to get the latest version, go ahead and open up a web page and go to online.gibbscam.com. And once you're here, we can click on the software link at the top, Gibbscam software, and it will take you to a page where you can download the latest version. Clicking the Download Now button will start the process. I've already downloaded the install file, and I went into my Downloads folder and pulled it out onto my desktop. And you don't have to move it to your desktop, you can open it from any location. But for this to work properly, administrative privileges are required, so please keep that in mind. Now I'll run the install file by double clicking the icon and we will be asked to allow this program to make changes to our device where we need to click yes. And from there, the install wizard will load. Once it does, we can click next, accept the terms, click next once again. And here we see the option to include add-ins from third-party vendors. So if you use Inventor or SolidWorks perhaps, you could choose to have some features integrated into your Gibbscam software. Just check the box for the option you use. If you don't use any of these, then leave everything unchecked and click Next. And now we can install the software by clicking the Install button. For this next section of the video, we will be going over registering our license so that we have access to the Gibbscam software. After Gibbs has been installed, I'll insert my USB license key into the computer, and we can double click the new Gibbscam icon on our desktop to open up the software and register. When we open Gibbscam for the first time, we are met with this message telling us we need a license to run it, and we have two options for doing that. We can automatically register using the registration tool and our valid information to generate a license file, but in order for this to work, an internet connection is required. If the computer you are trying to register does not have an internet connection and you need to register manually, then you would need to obtain the license file from your reseller in which you could either drag and drop the file itself onto this dialog, or you could browse for it on your computer with this link here. But I'm going to use the registration tool. So when I click on this, a separate window appears with boxes allowing us to enter our 20 digit product code. Now make sure you double check that the USB key number you have inserted into the computer is using the same product code we enter into the registration tool. If we have multiple keys and accidentally swap key numbers and product codes, then we are stuck with downtime as we would need to reach out to our reseller to have our keys unlocked so that we could register them the correct way. But once you're certain everything matches, go ahead and click next, enter some information, opt in or out of these options below, and click Next, and then finally, Finish to register and generate a license file. And there we go, license successfully deployed. That is what you want to see. And if you're met with any errors regarding an issue with reading the USB, then please ensure you have downloaded and installed the latest USB drives. And those can be found also at online.givescam.com. The two down at the bottom, one is for the protection, Sentinel protection, and the other is for the HASP LDK. Now to determine which key you have, I do have a little PDF here. These are the, the different tells of what key type you're using. So depending on which key type you have, depends on which driver install package you need to download. So of course, determine which key you have and then at online.gibscam.com, download the corresponding installer and run that. 
so that you can try to register again and deploy your license. If that does happen to you, you will need to do the registration process again, run the tool. But here, I was successful, so I'm going to click OK. And then Gibbscam will open up. And just like that, we have registered our license and we are ready to go. In this section of the video, I'm going to show you how to update your license file in case you may have upgraded your seat for more capability. And you can do this in a blank application like I have here, or you can do it in a program that's actually been created, has a work area, maybe a model in there, it doesn't matter. But either way, we're going to go up to File and choose Preferences. And then from there, over on the left-hand side, we want to look for Interface. And once you've clicked on that, we can come down to the bottom right-hand corner and choose License Update. And this opens up the dialog where we are able to run the registration tool or possibly drag a new license file here or search for a new license file. Either way, we can run the registration tool if we have internet access. Take note here, this says that update won't take effect until Gibbscam has restarted, so always keep that in mind. But enter your 20-digit product code, click Next, enter the information just like when we first registered, click Next and Finish, and it'll tell you license successfully deployed. And now for any changes to occur, we of course need to close Gibbscam and then open it back up. And simple as that, we are able to update our license file in case we need to update our seats. For this portion of the video, I'm going to show you how you can update to the latest version when one becomes available. First, I would suggest going to File Preferences within a Gibbscam application. And then over on the left hand menu, selecting Interface. And then over on the right, looking for automatically check for updates on startup. This will keep you uh, alerted that updates are available as soon as they become available. And it's always good to turn this on just so you never miss anything. The option's there if you want to use it. But if not, we could also just use help check for updates. And I would suggest to do that periodically if you don't want to turn on automatically check for updates on startup. But once you choose check for updates and one is available, this is the window that will appear where we can then choose yes. And it will take us to a web page where we can download the latest version. Clicking the download button will start the process. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. I have already downloaded this newest version. So I'm going to minimize this window. And then I'm going to make sure that my Gibbs cam application is closed. In order to update to the latest version, we can't have Gibbs running. But once that file's done downloading, we just need to find it. And here's mine, Gibbs Cam v24.0.6 install file. I'm just gonna double click it to run it. But remember, we do need administrative privileges for this to work. So always keep that in mind. But I'm gonna run the file and I need to give the application permission to make changes. So I click yes. And then just like before, the install wizard loads. Here we click next, accept the terms, click next again. And once again, we're met with the third party add-ins where we can add or integrate certain features into Gibbscam from, you know, maybe Auto Inventor or uh, SolidWorks. So if you use those, check the options available. If not, leave them blank and click next. And then finally, the install button. And once the newest version has finished installing, we then have the option to launch the migration tool, which I'm going to leave checked for now and click the finish button. So now we can talk about the migration tool. I'm going to scan for older versions. And this shows that I do have an older version installed that I can utilize. And I want to say check compatibility. Now what this migration tool does is it moves, you know, user settings and custom interfaces and 
custom MDDs and macros, it moves them from one version to the next. So it really saves a lot of hassle when we're updating. You know, it keeps all of our settings the same. It keeps Gives looking what we're, how we're used to it, you know, looking and really just makes life a lot easier. So I typically like to run this, but once you're ready, go ahead and hit the do it button and let it run. And then another window will appear saying one or more files were not migrated. And this is typical, no worries. It will happen every time. Just click okay and then close the migration tool. And now you can see we've got another new icon on our desktop for the newest version. But just because I've downloaded and installed it doesn't mean that we're ready to go. And you know, just to speak on this, we don't need to register again like we did previously on a fresh install. We've already generated a license file. So to update, no need to re-register or reactivate. But let's say that I've got a file on my computer that I was working on in an older version and I just downloaded an installed version 24.0.6 and now I'm ready to open this up and see what it has to offer. But notice that when I open the file, it's opening 24.0.59. So again, just installing the update does not ensure that we're going to be using the latest version. In order to use the latest version, we need to just open up that blank application of the latest version. And now we verify 24.0.6 is in fact opening. And once that's finished opening, I could always go to, you know, file open and search for this right angle head file. Or just to show you, I can close it. And now when I try to open the file, it will in fact load version 24.0.6. So don't forget to open that initially one time after installing the latest version, but once you've done that, you're ready to go. And that's it for today's Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. Everything covered in this video pertained to a USB key license type only. And the things we went over were a first time installation of Gibbs Cam, updating after a license upgrade, and also how to update to the newest version. But if you have any other questions, then please reach out to your local Gibbs Cam reseller.